And uh, I'm about to head on over uh, to the special event that's going on in Burbank at Dark Delicacies. There's like the signing uh, signing event that's going on. Do you want to show the people what, what, what the people are signing here today? This is an excellent book written by Steve Carver, uh -huh. director who's made a lot of wonderful movies in the 80s and 90s. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a portrait of uh, famous uh, Western Westerns. stars from movies and, yeah. and uh, TV shows and spaghetti Westerns in particular, which I love. But I'm going to be bringing on over my 4K release of uh, The Karate Kid over there to maybe get signed uh, by the actor uh, Martin Cove, uh, the guy that played Sensei Kreese, uh, you know, in the, in the Karate Kid franchise and even in Cobra Kai. So let's see, let's see how this uh, all unfolds. Hey guys, Brendan back here again for another very special interview for you guys today. Right now, I am honored to be with the sensei himself, Martin Cole, the favorite bad guy of, you know, at least my childhood uh, right here. How you been, Mr. Cole? Good, good, very good. Yeah, man. Right here in very good company with all these Western actors and my friend Steve Carver. Yeah, because you, you, you grew up doing westerns, right? Yeah, I mean, I mean, I grew up doing westerns, but I love westerns. Yeah. Yeah. It's the genre that I must, I must yes. influence to return. The reason we're saying um, Steve, Steve, who wrote this book, and all the western yeah. actors who are photographed in this book, you know, he, he directed me in a movie ages ago called Capone. Capone, okay. Ben Gazzara, yeah. But it's great to see everybody, yes. my friend Bruce Parksliner, and just everybody else, Hugh Jones, and all yeah. those great characters. Yeah, you, you've been in so many movies throughout your career, like, you know, Steel Justice, and a whole bunch of like different TV shows, and of course you're best known, you know, for the Karate Kid, which I, which is the movie I found out about you in. Like, I, I just, I've always been a fan of yours. But what is one of your favorite, you know, movies of all time that that in, like influenced you to like become the actor that you wanted that you became? There's a, there's a lot. I mean, as far as westerns go, I mean, I love the Red River, the Good, the Bad, and the Ugly. My favorite is the Wild Bunch. You know, but I think you know, the my favorite film is Casablanca. You know, I mean, it's a perfect film, and as many, you know, sort of heavies as I've played, played I think, you know, playing a hero, like yeah. a dark hero, like Humphrey Bogart played, you know, and that, that's, it's just a perfect film. Michael Cortese directed a perfect movie, you know, and uh, like Marty Scorsese now, and, you know, so many people that, you know, I was just finished Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, Quentin is right yeah. up there, you know, with, you know, John Ford and all those great people, you know, I miss that era. I, I think I was born too late. What, what did you think about Once Upon a Time in Hollywood? Oh, I loved it. It's such a feel-good movie, you know. Mm -hmm. We all, my scenes were trimmed down a bit. And, you know, there's a lot of people there that, you know, lost the essence of their scenes. But it didn't matter, because Quentin makes great movies. Right, yeah. So it's, you're, you're really, you know, you're really very lucky and fortunate to be working with such a giant. Did you did you have to audition or did he like hey Martin I want you no, to come no, be a part I, of this? I was driving him nuts. Yeah. During the period of time I hate to wait in Django to be in a western with him, you know. Yeah, that's cool. And, he offered it, and it was just it doesn't matter how. In essence, it's long as you get a chance to work with him, because he's one of the few people that literally loves to make films of and knows everything about your career from the time you were doing. Yeah. God knows. Standing in for Sean Connery on the Anderson tapes. Yeah, it's always cool. Like like me. Like I, I grew up. You know, uh, work, my one of my first jobs I ever had was working in Blockbuster. Like when Tarantino was working in that video store, and then you know became a filmmaker. I think that's really cool, man. Now it's your turn, man. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. That maybe I'll get you in a movie one day. Hey, hey. Right. But uh, but it was it was so cool recently because I just you know got into the Cobra Kai. And I'm like, oh, this is on YouTube. Right? This is so cool. And then I'm like, where is where's Martin? And then the end of season one came. I'm like, oh. Oh no! Hell yeah, man! Well, the show is very fortunate to have you know John Hurwitz and um, Hayden Schlossberg and Josh Heal as writers and fans of our movie, mm -hmm. and uh, they write so well and can see the characters. Season three is unbelievable. Mm -hmm. It's in April, and it's it's been a heaven to shoot. Tough, yeah, but a heaven, and uh, it's great to work. You know, Robert Marquez star of Karate Kid for me because he wrote all that yeah and was still saying sweep the leg and no mercy and mercy is for the weak was still saying these lines yeah 35 years later did, did you ever think that you would revisit this character like all this time later like the way reboots and stuff are happening these days no you know Ralph and Billy and I talk about it all the time no it's a gift from God and, and these three 
created the gift, and you know, it's what I, I'd like to be able to have that resurgence of the Western. Yeah, you know, you, and, yeah, it may happen the way Hollywood's going these days. But you gotta find a really good twist. Yeah, good, good Western with a good twist, like the ballet created by Serge Leone years ago. Because yeah, the thing is, like, I. I Sorry. So good to see you, man. Take care, you Good to Hell see you. Man. You too. Yeah, sorry, man. The thing is, I know you're a producer, and you've been making your own films. Maybe you can be the one that brings we're doing, us back. We're doing the best we can. It's an uphill battle, getting a good Western made, but we'll do it. Yeah, brother. Do you have any websites people can find you on? Yeah, it's um, Martin Co. It's uh, MartyCoveOnline.com. Make sure you guys check them out. Show them some love, man. And uh, remember, no mercy. Wow, dude. That was cool, man. Getting a few moments of uh, time with Martin Cove, Sensei Crease, you know, from the Karate Kid franchise. He signed my 4K right here. How cool is that, man? Hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, that little interview right there. Had a good time uh, talking to him. I usually wait to ask people if I can have like little casual interviews with them, uh, you know, until the end of the event. So like different sounds that you were hearing was like people closing the tables down and, you know, getting stuff ready to, to go. So I know that like, it was kind of noisy in there, even though I was trying to wait to the end of all this stuff so it would be less noisy. But hey, it was so cool talking to Martin Cove, bro. Like, you know, Steel Justice. Of course, you know, Karate Kid. Been a big fan of his for years, dude. He's always like the bad guy you love to hate. You know what I mean? I don't know, I dig it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this interview video. If you did, uh, drop a like on it. Also in the comments down below, let me know what your favorite Karate Kid movie is from best to worst in the comments. And I'll catch you guys all on the next one.